bangerang rufio what's up everybody welcome back to lost boys gaming it is officially the most wonderful time of the year as college football is back and we are excited to celebrate this football season with a special series of videos as we play every single college game day espn game of the week on nca 10 is we can't play i can't get nca 14 running uh, so we'll try we'll go with 10 if anyone has a better idea of how to get it running on a steam deck let me know down in the comments but we'll continue to play every single game day matchup and this first matchup was notre dame versus ohio state our goal is going to be to cover the spread as the underdog so we'll be playing as notre dame in this matchup ohio state was a 17 point favorite so our goal here is to lose by less than 17 or to win so i hope you guys enjoyed these playthrough and make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video as i said we're going to bring you through these matchups every single week so this week uh we're a little bit behind as we were trying to figure out how to get it all recorded and stuff hopefully the audio is not too bad uh, but we will play as texas this next week as texas and alabama are playing on the college game day of game of the week uh, for espn so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that subscribe button i'll let you go ahead and see if we can't cover the spread as notre dame here and look out for our next video in the series as we'll play texas and alabama Not much room there as they head off straight off the middle. He gains a couple yards on a carry. This safety is something special, Coach. Yeah, great-looking player who gets better and better every game. Head off to the back. Look out! About six yards on the pitch. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Two tight ends here. Here's the pass. Broken up. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job in the defense. Fields it and hit immediately. Not much of a return there, huh, Coach? Nope, but at least he held on to the football. They'll set up shot at the 22. First down, 10 to go. Drops back to pass. He's taken down right around the four. Look out. If you're one-on-one -on -one in man coverage, you can't let your man beat you to the inside on a post drop. That'll be a new set of downs every time. Got a man open and he can't pull it in. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. From their own 40-yard line, second down. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Let's head down here and have a good update here. Thanks, Brad. The trainers are going to continue to work on his forearm. They have revealed that it's only a bruise and not something more serious. He's listed as probable to return to the game. Brad, back to you. Thanks, Aaron. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. He's looking to pass. Oh, he had a shot at the pit. Now, when your opponent goes for it on fourth down, you really have to step it up on defense. And that's what they did here. Nice job. I run a simple base cover two. Nothing fancy, but it should get the job done. They line up in a double tight set. And they get nice yardage on that run. There's a player injured, but it looks like it's just a stinger. Three wide outs here. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Now let's go down to our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. She's got an injury update. Thanks, guys. The good news is that he didn't tear anything in his knee, and it looks like it's only a bruise. This is a minor injury and will not keep him out of this game. Brad? Thanks, Aaron. That looks like good news for these guys. On the handoff, watch out. Huge play, and it's going to be first 
and go. And he reeled off the big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Ohio State yet set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Down at the 24. Time once again for this offense to come out. Got him started on the drive. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. And he carries the ball for a nice carry. Seven yard play. They'll work from the shotgun. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. Man, you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Wideout makes the first down and catch. This isn't a great example, but I'll tell you something. This kid is really getting better at running his routes, which is truly an underrated quality these days. Pullback, handoff. That's a seven-yard game. It's second and three. Ball on their own 45. From the gun. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. They need to tighten up their coverage on this kid because whenever he gets some room on you, ha, he makes a play. Linebackers move over. They line up in the shotgun. Looks to pass. It's batted down, incomplete. And again, they go the same pass play. How about this, Bill? Two reasons why I like this call. First of all, you're telling your players that you have confidence in them getting it right. And secondly, you're telling the defense that you don't care what they do, you're going to run your game plan. And coach, don't forget, this was still an incomplete pass. I don't know if they're going to run that play again here. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down right around the 30. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. They'll work from the shotgun. Well, they run it left and a nice tackle right there. The key to a Just about three is yards being able to fool the defense and then blocking them once they see what's going on. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Passes left, gets it out of the halfback. That was a well-designed play. Yep, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. And they get nice yardage on that run. They pick up a good six yards there. New running back now into the backfield. Tackle after decent pickup. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. Well, if they don't guess right pretty soon, 
They're never going to stop these guys. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, the score here in Columbus is Ohio State 7, Notre Dame nothing. They hand it off again. What a run. He really looked explosive on his way to the end zone. He's one of those guys that look a lot faster with the ball in his hands. Here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends it off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 34. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. He delivers. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Almost a big play. He controls the deep part of the field like a center fielder. No, he didn't make the catch like one. Straight ahead on the give. There's no to run though. A pickup of about three. They line it up with three receivers. They line up in an eye. They'll throw on first down. Crosses to the running back and he pulls in another. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route and he did a great job of holding on to the football. They'll run the option. And he's tackled at the 39. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. High formation here. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled at the 7. The defense came with a blitz that time. Yeah, but when you blitz a quarterback that is smart as this guy, you've got to blitz him late. And you've got to change your defense late. Right, Kirk? That's exactly right. Let's see if they begin to pick up what we're seeing here. Just a little bit of a cat and mouse game out there. And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And this is just a booming kick. And down he goes. The 26. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. On that last drive, they took the ball deep out of their own territory and moved it up the field. That was great offensive production. Everything really came together for them on that last drive. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. Someone down there just a little bit slow to get up. From the gun. Takes it and he's tackled short. They couldn't even get that drive started. Take the keys out of the ignition, sweetheart. Because this defense didn't let him even get out of the driveway. Now let's hear from Aaron Andrews on some injury news. What do you got for us, Aaron? Thanks, Brad. The trainers are saying that he's showing the signs of an abdominal strain. This injury doesn't appear to be significant, and he will return to the game. Brad, back up to you. Sounds like good news then. Thanks, Aaron. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Here the quarterback was looking to make the pitch, but they got to him before he could do anything. Yeah, good play here by the D. Hands it off. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. Single back set. Three wide receivers. Looks to pass. 
Heavy pressure, and he throws it to the defense. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. What a play. The defensive lineman came down with it. Boy, it's something you don't see every day. A big old defensive lineman grabbing a pass out of the air and intercepting. Yelp. They come out with four wide out. And they make the stop on the 11 uh, yard line. If this receiver wants to make it to the next level, those are the types of plays he'll have to make. Absolutely. They love pass catches that look the ball all the way into their hands and then tuck it away safely. Two tight ends here. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. Hey, the big fella did a hit the job. Fucking up the hole when that play was supposed to go. That guy's so good, Kurt. He doesn't play the holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. He'll... In this situation, up by the receiver. Yeah, and this a kid loves to get him up. He wants to blow up and get this movie. He tried to run up the middle, but met the backfield. Hey, Kirk, it's not too easy to run it when the safety is flying to the ball like that. Not only, I think they have to use a guard, maybe maybe even a fullback to get out there. But if you leave him on block, he's going to be all over the ball carrier. It's the PAT. That score leads us to our drive summary. Notre Dame gets set to kick this one away. D kick. Taken from the 10. Oh, we got tattooed on that one. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. What did you tell your players when they turn the ball over, Coach? I tell them to forget about it. They just have to get that stuff out of their head and go out and play some really good football. Looking deep to the right. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. They come out with three wide receivers. Throws it that close to being intercepted. Ah, uh, he almost had it. That hurts. I mean, I mean, you don't get an opportunity like that very often. You know, you're right, coach. You got to capitalize on that. Yes, sir. Yeah, he overshot his receiver on that one. Well, here the quarterback needs to relax down near the end zone. Step up and make a better throw. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That'll bring up fourth and long, and we should be seeing the kicker here. Good stand by the defense to keep them out of the end zone on this drive. Well, that's a tough break for these guys who were looking to put three points up on the board. So the score is still Ohio State 14, Notre Dame 14. The offense will take over at the 29-yard line. From the gun. And this one could be on the defense. It's a good call. The defender was all over First the receiver. Down. Sometimes holding up a receiver is better than a big game, or even worse, a touchdown. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. And sail over the receiver's head. Yeah, this receiver is fast, but not that fast. Looks to pass. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. 
They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. And he's immediately tackled. The offense calls a timeout. Passing the ball allows you to stop the clock a little easier because you can throw the ball away if you have to. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Goes over the middle, intercepted. And he tackles him hard. The 17-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on the play. He was right there waiting for the ball. The defense lines up in a dime. Not much room there as they hand it off straight up the middle. And we've got a tie ball game here, folks, and we pause for halftime. At the end of the first half, the score is tied. Ohio State is lining up to get their second half started. Taken from the 10. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. The defense sets up in the nickel. He's looking to pass. The quarterback really took the shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. First and foul. Dropping the passes. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Now let's hear from Aaron Andrews on some injury news. What do you got for us, Aaron? Thanks, Brad. When I asked him how he was feeling, he said he had back pain like this before, and it's nothing he can't handle. Everything appears to be all right, and he's ready to get back on the field. Brad, back up to you. Thanks, Aaron. That looks like good news for these guys. This place is starting to get fired up. They go with the run. He's going to be stopped short. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. They come out with three wide receivers. complete. He's hit right away. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 44. He's backfield. And they use motion. Feeds it to the back. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. A couple of yards there. It's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. The good and out of that quarterback pick up. The defender was in the hand. He throws the ball behind the intended receiver on an out route. It could go the other way for six. Nice throw and a first and ten. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen. He had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. Takes the handoff inside and stopped immediately. The safety made the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. I recommend to the offensive coordinator a little play action and throw the fade route where the safety used to be. That's right, Lee. These guys are shooting up there when they see run and it only takes one time to catch him out of position and take it to the house. One man back for you. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. 
He had every last pound of that big frame heading toward the ball carrier. Yeah, I can't feel too good taking hits from that guy. He's as big as you and me combined, Kurt. And faster, too. They line it up with three receivers. Throws out and through his hands. It's fourth down. And they'll attempt the field goal. This one is from 50. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it splits the uprights. Again, the drive somewhere. like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 31. So let's see how the defense are holding up now as this offense comes out for the next drive. High formation here. Here's the halfback. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. He broke off a really nice run there. And it was all in the first down. Throws falling back and finds his man. They didn't get much on that pass. You know, this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. He kind of mix them up a little. Like I always say, Coach, anything is better than moving backwards. He catches it, and that's all. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Yeah, but that stalls this drive. This is why these guys need to run routes past the first down marker. It's so they can keep these drives going. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Trips right. Here's the pass, broken up. On the ground, he won't get back to the line. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. I mix up the defensive play call. I think the zone defense with the cornerback blitzing is the way to go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They look to be outmanned on that series, guys. Not even one first down. That's not what the offensive coordinator had in mind. Yeah, but I can't argue his play calling. They just didn't execute. Whoa, this could be huge if there's enough blocking up front. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. I like this one. We'll see what you can do with it. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. The score here in Columbus is the Buckeyes. 17, the Fighting Irish, 14. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Complete. He's got room. 
Packer at the 48. They pick up some positive yards that time. Well, here you get a chance to see the ability of this quarterback, his arm strength, the middle toughness to be able to deliver the ball on time. And remember, this play was well covered by that defense. Kirk, I agree with you. I thought the defense had that been covered. Terrific job by the game. chunk of yards. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Passes tipped away. Look how fired up that defense is. Nice stop. He's backfield. Straight the middle and he meets the defense. Three yards there on the play. The blitz was pretty effective on that play, Coach. Yep, they plugged up the holes well, so the back was not able to go very far. This is easy. One cover two with man cover. They come out in a nickel. Throws back across his body, and this one's intercepted. He's tackled around the 50-yard line. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. Drops back to pass. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. He can't throw interceptions like that. He just can't. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. One man backfield. First down. Look at the throw. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see if it's on. Holding on the offense. Nothing gets under a coach's skin more than a penalty like no, that. No, Believe me, I know any time a player on my team committed a penalty, they were running stadium steps the next day. play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Looks to pass. And he's tackled at midfield. Good job on the pass there. Yeah, let me tell you something. These passes are exactly what they need to put pressure on that defense. and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. Well, that's a tricky third and long. The defense is very fortunate to prevent the first down. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. 
And we'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate our Russell Athletic players of the game. Drops back to pass. Fires across the middle. Down the sideline. What a play. Brought down inside the five. That's this another is great grab by this receiver. receiver. That catch gives this guy a cool 100 yards in this game. Man, Coach, this guy's playing well. He does a great job of getting open. And as you know as a quarterback, Kirk, that when you have a receiver who's always getting open, that the quarterback will always be looking his way. He followed his blocks and ran his way into the end zone. Yeah, the guy needs to give credit to that offensive line for that one. They created the space for him to run through. I think everybody in the stadium knew that was going to be a run play, and the defense just couldn't stop it. From the five-yard line, he makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? Well, everything is out the window now. It's crunch time. They have less than a minute to drive the ball downfield and get the ball into the end zone. What a great game. This one has gone down to the wire. Here we go. This is it. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Drops back to pass. The offense calls a timeout. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. The pressure may have forced the incompletion there. That defense was about to plant him into the ground. He's lucky he even got that ball off. The offense calls a timeout. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Tipped away. The defense holds. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause the incompletion. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Well, it was close, but they got the first down. Yeah, but it's a game of inches, guys. A game of inches. I think you should try and get in there to rattle this quarterback. Let's turn up the pressure and go with the linebacker blitz. They come out with three wide receivers. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. I run a simple base cover two. Nothing fancy, but it should get the job done. Ace backfield. And he's sacked. He hustles the troops to the line. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. He's looking to pass. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. And they deny him the first down. Well, this is a huge play for the defense, especially since the score is so close. Now, let's see if the offense can get anything done. That's the end of the ball game, And our final score in this one, Notre Dame, 21, Ohio State, 17. Kirk, as we take a look at the play of the game, what do you think of this one? I was impressed with both teams out there, but the difference in this game came down to execution and playing mistake-free football. Ohio State made a few more mistakes in this game than their opponents, whether it's turnovers.